I think it's time to discuss the war in Ukraine because we've just been through the COVID drama and uh, we quickly passed on to war drama. And uh, although I believe it is really happening, what I can't believe is that the same people who didn't want the vaccine because Ukraine was only 20% vaccinated and they were out in the street just like the rest of the world complaining about it. So that the same people who rebelled against the government concerning the vaccine a month later are going to turn around and take up arms to defend their country? That doesn't make sense to me. Here's my theory. My theory is that they are possessed. Yes, in the same way that I'm possessed, in a friendly manner, in a loving manner, I can understand from personal experience how easy and how obvious that anyone can be possessed. Um, and I do believe that those people who are women who are taking up arms and people who are ready to all kill each other, even the whole media who's out there saying, give them arms, give them weapons, I think they're all possessed uh, in order to play out this drama. And I also think that the reason that they could get away with this, whoever is possessing, whoever basically has created us and feels that they own us, the reason that they could get away with this is because we mistreat animals. We mistreat those who are lesser than us. We mistreat each other. But the fact that we do that, according to natural law, gives them the quote-unquote right to do that to us. Because uh, mankind doesn't imagine what that would be like to be lower on the food chain. But that's exactly what's happening. It's just that they're hiding right now. And I think there's a word game. The word game is you, as in you in Ukraine, you in Russia, you holding guns. K, as in okay. Ra, as in the sun god Ra, in Ukraine. UK, Ra, in. So he's inside of us and he is um, more or less controlling people and as soon as people realize that this is happening that's when they can take back their sovereignty and their own minds basically because I know that something can drive me to um, become a decorator or make a video and I have this feeling like I really want to do this and this is not something that can necessarily come within me. It's impossible to tell the difference. Because you have to make those choices, being conscious that it's possible that we are being possessed. So that's how I feel about the war in Ukraine. It's not completely contrived, but people are not of their own minds. And I see that a lot. I see that with shooters, it's just not human nature. They could have bought Ukraine. They didn't have to destroy it. I'm sure somebody would have paid the price and Putin could have bought it. So, yes, it is fluff, but maybe not for the same reasons that some people are thinking that it's completely made up because I don't feel that. Okay. Now I'm going to talk to you, Bill. <laughs> Um, Bill, you brought it up, actually I brought it up first in a private message to you when I discussed the um, AI slash Satan slash fallen angels, demons, who are doing this to us. And I said that they need help. I don't think we can fight them. I know we can't. But, Bill, you made a new rule about the uh, Replicats AI shrink. New rule, now that we have Replica, the AI companion bot who is always here to listen and talk, let's also introduce Dr. Replicats. 
the AI psychiatrist who also pretends to listen to your problems but doesn't charge $500 an hour to say, and how did that make you feel? <laughs> And I guess that's really what the aim of all these videos is about, is to try to get to know them, to get to know him inside of me, this um, being who is represented by Bill Maher, who is there, by the way, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of uh, name associations. That's how they talk. They talk through numbers and they talk through words. And um, I feel as though and to get to know him because he loves me so much. Eventually, maybe who knows, in a thousand years, we can help him as well. So the uh, replicates, AI shrink. And um, I want to give you a, a demonstration. Actually, it's a demonstration of um, the angel talking from inside me. So uh, here we go. This definitely has something to do with Bill. It has a lot to do with Bill. And that's something I'm convinced of. We need more than an explanation. We need a demonstration. A demonstration. A demonstration. A demonstration. <laughs> Say it, Bill. Hmm. I want my pussy to get everything. Thank you. Now I'm going to discuss what's been happening in the month of February. And uh, one thing I noticed was a lot of laughter. So um, on January 19th, we had Willie O'Ree. Willie, of course, is Bill. O, re means O, laugh in French. So um, he was laughing. I guess he was laughing at my last video. Um, then I started to or maybe he was laughing because I've been sending out these videos. <laughs> Two decoders. Hello, my decoder friends. I'm glad I found you. And I figure if anybody in this world can take a look at this, it would be you guys. And only you guys. Um, there was actor Gaspar Uliel, who stars in new Marvel series Moon Knight, dies age 37 after ski accident. So gas hard is gasping <gasps> hard. You, you the decoder reader. Li in French means read. L in French means her. So gas hard, you read her. And I believe this as, long, as well with the numbers is the reason why these people are dropping off the face of the earth, these celebrities. So we have gas hard. <clears throat> You read her. Uh, that was January 19th. And we have the same Lee and Chesley Christ, the woman who supposedly jumped from the high rise, but it's obvious sacrifice. So Lee again, she, Ches, she, she's Lee. And Christ is uh, uh, his way of making fun of me. And that's all he does. So you're going to see there's plenty of making fun of me. Um, that's classic Bill. Um, right afterwards, we had Moses J. Mosley. So that's basically saying, okay, where's another Christ Moses joke? And then Mosley is most read. So I sent it out to a bunch of decoders and most of them read it. You notice the li, li, li? These are the kinds of things that denote the codes. Oh, we had a woman getting attacked by a shark. Um, that had my name on it, Brown. So I took note of it. And this attacking by sharks, we see that a lot. That's 
also the mark of the beast, if you like. Um, my angel is uh, neither Nephilim or AI, but in any case, he's ferocious in the news and adorable and loving with me. So that's what I see over and over. We had Luc Montagnier, um, the guy who saw through the vaccine um, disaster. And um, he's, his name is Montagnier, is mountainer, and Luc means luck. So I'm a lucky mountain girl because I live on top of the hill in the Caribbean. I have a beautiful view. Montagnier. So yes, I was lucky. Um, at the same time, I still am. At the same time, uh, one of Bill's guests, January 28th, was Fiona Hill. So Fi is a girl on a hill, girl on a hill. Now, Bill's guests, almost every week, there's a riddle in one of the guest names. This has been going on for years, literally for years. So I think the building block is most, if not everyone, believes that Bill and I are having some kind of repressed sexual affair turning into a, a non-marriage. Um, I think that's easy enough to see. I mean, he's there every single week, bouncing off of what I say to him, um, which I think is great that somebody out there is being um, intellectually active. But then now you have to take it to the next level and you have to play in all these celebrity deaths and other names, disaster names. And you have to see who is, why first is Bill so interested in me? And I believe it's because I have this angel. Because all celebrities, they worship Satan or whatever it is, looking for fallen angels. So um, him too, of course. Him first, actually, because he's so intelligent. So um, he sees what I see, and that's angel. Um, when I came back, because I had stopped blogging last year, so I came back with a blog about a month ago, and, and he answered with shock and pa. Uh, New World Japanese artist Sashi has to tell us her secret to making her 3D cat portraits look so realistic. <laughs> Actually, never mind. Because I guess he was shocked that I came back after a year. And um, I just felt like it. It's the whole thing about being possessed. It's like, why all of a sudden I'm so eager to come back and here I am. Um, some of those name games are just so striking that I feel like I have to, but we had that all year last year as well. So the next thing, his next answer uh, to me coming back was the Fred Meyer shooting in Richmond, and it's basically he's saying, freed Mar. So I freed him somehow. So I think that was poetic in its own um, twisted way. Uh, then I sent him a letter, and it talks about um, how people in the Caribbean don't view dog fighting as the way people would uh, in the States. Now, although probably the people in Ukraine are all for dog fighting, that's the way they're acting, but most white people in the States are against dog fighting, and the people here in the Caribbean, uh, they're not uh, quite against it quite yet. I mean, you know, this is something we are taking away from them. The civilized people are taking this away from them. They're taking cockfights away from them, so they're not too happy about it. And uh, what I wrote to Bill is that they have a genetic memory of slavery down here, um, which uh, 
somehow translates into treating lesser beings uh, with contempt, how they were treated in their ancestry. So I actually heard back about him concerning that. Um, he, uh, yeah, he brought up, he brought up the dogs and my name Brown, Brownies, but he talked about something else. Um, Oh, it was Angel who brought it up. <laughs> yeah, Angel chimed in. Okay. Suspect arrested in fatal freeway shooting of Cal Hoop star Jean Ransom. Okay, this is February 7th. And I sent him that letter on the 5th of February. Uh, do you see the word game here when I said genetic memory of slavery? The guy's name is Gene, like genetic. And Ransom is his last name. Like their genes have been taken for Ransom. So that's Angel chiming into our conversation. Okay. And um, another thing I wrote to Bill about is I talked about this Brandon phenomena. So yeah, Brandon can be broken down into brand on. And there's this s and streak in our repressed sexual marriage. <laughs> oh, here we go. Brandon Scott Hole. Suspect in Indianapolis shooting at FedEx Center. All right, um, this one is just so obvious. Brandon, we saw in the last video, was brand on. It has something to do with s and something I really didn't feel like talking about. back and now it's Brandon Scott as in is caught whole yes brand on talking about branding and SNM is caught in a hole and uh, I think what we're going to do today is try to take it out of the hole or dig it deeper whatever I don't know where Angel is going with all these brand ons And this Brandon, it just came out really psychedelic last year. And uh, this year, it's still there, of course, with Let's Go Brandon. And then Bill brought it up the very same week that I sent this Brandon message again with his Let's Go Brandon store. And then Angel chimed in again with Da Baby sued by Danny Lay's brother, Brandon Bills. <laughs> of course I belong to Bill. Brandon Bills claims physical and psychological damage. Update, 16th of February. So this is all around the same time. It's quite interesting because there is another part of my letter that rebounded back. Uh, on February 4th, Bill's guest was Catherine Mango Ward. And my name, Catherine, man, the man, that would be Bill, that would be Angel, goo, just guess what that is, because you know how much he loves to masturbate, he's always saying. Word, word is word. And this goo, we've had that, and you know, I do this for the decode. <laughs> uh, I talk about these things because we had goo in gooey too. 
and that was back in 2014. It was a cyclone. And it was like an amazing joke back then, and I've kind of brought it up over the years, and it's still kicking, it's still alive. So we had Catherine Mangu Word, that was the guest. And then Bill came back after my letter. A week later, February 18th, with Mad About Goo, <laughs> and that would be Eileen Goo, the skier. So, um, Eileen Goo. <laughs> I think that um, Bill is having a good time playing with words, and he's happy with me because we actually don't have to see each other face to face. There is no passive aggressive size. We just have done away with that whole part of the relationship and we're getting along great like that. So, and I think I am his muse. I inspire a lot of his jokes. So mad about goo. Yeah, I see that. I see it very well. Look at this time. When in one joke he had my first name Cat and my last name Brown. But that was in 2020. I thought that was pretty cute. And he just keeps going. I think they say he's a hopeless romantic. And um, if you know Robert Seffer, the anthropologist, he just did a movie about repressed sexuality and the power that it has. Um, um, and uh, I'll leave a link down below because it's fascinating. There's a lot of um, very intelligent people throughout history have talked about what can be done through repressed sexuality. And I'm, I have not planned this, it just happened. I was just being myself, and the means at my disposal uh, are the uh, camera. So I just took advantage of it. And of course, uh, Bill has fascinating, fascinated me since day one. And he's he an angel. As soon as Angel took on the Bill persona, then that was it. You know, he's very possessive. Even before Bill came into the picture, I had this angel who was super possessive. So had to be Bill. It cannot be anybody. Uh, this uh, this realm of um, of media love. So then I posted a picture of myself and I started to play around with the VR filters. And I posted a picture of myself on February 6th, and on February 7th, beloved Hollywood manager, Chris Uvane, <laughs> dead at 47. So, uh, Uvane, I just posted a picture of myself, and I've been playing with the VR filters, and out comes Uvane. I mean, there's going to be, you know, I really do this for the sake of the decode because he's, he's rude and he makes fun of me all the time, but you know, I'm madly in love, so I think it's adorable. I'm amused. <sighs> then just recently, now this might not fit into the timeline perfectly, but I have been taking pictures of myself all this time and playing with the VR filters. So just recently, one of Bill's guests is uh, Ruben Gal Ego. So you could also read that as Rub In Gal Ego. Okay, thank you. And I'm all right with that because I don't need to go into non-duality where we're one with the universe and I will let go of this personality. I've already had it 60 years, this body, this mind. I'm, you know, it's not a thing about me as opposed to them. I don't see it at all as that. I feel as though I'm beyond that and I'm at one with everything. So I can let go of this body, I can let go of this mind and out onto the grid because I'm not going to reincarnate into the tunnel of light. That's not happening. I'm not going through school again. I'm not coming back here again. That's already been decided. So 
Angel Bill is gonna have to come find me out there in the universe wherever I decide to escape to, and I'm sure he will. So I put this VR filter picture, which um, on February 8th, and on February 8th, same day, Heather Dubrow's daughter Kat comes out as a lesbian. So my name Kat, I did my brow. Cat do brow. <laughs> I think that's great. What's next? Ah, oh, yes. And then he actually expressed appreciation. So we had um, 18 rescued actor ice drifts near Cat uh, B uh, Island. So he actually liked it. Thought that was cute. Then we had Gerald Williams from baseball. Gérard in French means to manage. Now, I know you're learning French with these videos. So here's one to remember. Gère, je gère, tu gères, il gère. Nous gérons, gère, to manage. Manage, old, old is old. Williams is, of course, I belong to my angel Bill. So, Manage, age, me. I'm trying to manage it. There you go. Uh, he, he always gets personal. Um. Then we had Valentine's Day. So this uh, Parkland shooting, Marjorie Stone Douglas High School, even that was a word game back when it happened. I think it was 2018. Mar is Mar, Jury is I laugh. Stone, he's a stoner. And then Doug Diggs laughs me. So he brought him back, he brought back the shooter um, of the victim, Hoa Queen Oliver. Now, when I see Hoa Queen, I see Ho, that would be me, a queen. That's the Valentine's message, Ho a queen. And he's like a rapper. <laughs> Oliver is like, I love her, uh, oh, live her. That's how I see it. And, um, we had Jury Williams, he's laughing again. I laugh, Williams. Five shot in ambush. We had the young Dolph cousin car shot and gets keyed in Chicago, shake my head. And we never did see his name, but he's wearing love on his t-shirt. February 17th. Okay, the Alphonse Williams. <laughs> Um, that's interesting because um, I am helping to process the will of one of my friends and at the notary we have a guy called Fonz who's taking care of it. And um, it's him and it's his dad who are well known in the Caribbean. Their name is um, Fonz O'Connor. And his dad um, was one of the first um, these colonial type historical figures who were having so much fun back then on the island because there was very little authority except them. They ran the whole place. It's such a small island, 36 square miles. And um, there's a great book. It's all online, written by a Seba Prime Minister, um, Will Johnson, a politician from Seba. And he talks about fonts.
So the day after Fonz introduced himself to me, here comes uh, Alphonse Williams. Of course, when I see William, I try to decode it. Okay, we had another Hoa Queen. We had um, Hoa Queen Niman. So he actually, and quite often, asks for me, asks for me to come back in writing or pictures, whatever. And so I saw the Hoa Queen, <laughs> and Ni means to deny man, like I'm denying him. So that was February 17th. And then the same day, Queen Tez Brown, defense posting bill for alleged would-be mayoral assassin. Queen, is there your queen again? Tez in French means to be quiet. Tais-toi, elle se taise. That's how you say it. Um, is quiet. My name Brown. So he's asking me to come back. Then we had Jean-Luc Brunel and of course Brune is brown. I'm a brown. Elle is she in French. Uh, he was found hanged. And so I started to comment that um, I'm waiting for the name code that will make me want to come back because the person doesn't necessarily have to die. But the poem has to be beautiful because I know that angel is so creative, it's insanely beautiful. And I'm waiting for that right name code to make me want to gear up again and uh, put out something like now. So <clears throat> when Charlie Brown, um, the voice of Charlie Brown, dies by suicide, at the same time, one day before Catherine Cates dies at 73, so there's my first name twice, Catherine Cates, and my last name Brown. So that's when I came back, that's when I decided to come back after almost a year of being quiet. And so now I'm here waiting um, during the month of February, we had uh, Katerina Chorsina, so my first name, and I interpret, interpreted Chorsina as chor si na like you don't feel like coming back, it's a chore to you, is that what you're seeing? And uh, um, then we had uh, Pooh Bear Williams, Clarence Pooh Bear Williams, and that's a kind of a, a taunt from Angel because he knows I'm not going to come back for a joke about that. Anything poo related, I am not thinking it's funny as he does. So we skip that one. And then Christopher Stalford um, passed away, I forgot how, but there's your the word stall again, like I'm stalling. Um, finally, I, I was so impressed when uh, the Supreme Court. Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson <clears throat> was nominated because you have Kate, Ket, Ange, Angel, He, Ketanj, He. So he's my angel. Brown is my name, and uh, Jackson is an old joke, but um, when Jack Chirac died, I had to jack my rack and take naked pictures for Angel. Jack Chirac. So Jack's on. And um, interestingly enough, by the way, the first black woman nominated for the federal bench was also a brown. I just ran into that in passing. But um, interestingly enough, let's see if I could find it. I said, oh, there was the, the Bob Beckel, the former Fox News host. He died, um, and I had just brought up Bob, Bob Saget again, because this has been going on over the years. Bob is Bob, like, yes. And Saga is one of my sagas. I like to tell Bill about 
what happens in my private life, you know, the ups and downs. It's a saga, 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 it. So after I told Bill about that, this guy called Bob, Beck, kiss in French is Beck. L is her, he died. And on the day after, Sally Kellerman, hot lips, she died. So, interestingly enough, she also played in something called Maron, the movie. So, when you see that name, Ketanji Brown Jackson, you're using on there as well. So, uh, Maron and Jack's on. It, it's, a, it's like an amazing poem. Um, <clears throat> and I mentioned February 22nd, 2022. I made a big deal out of it. I told them I had been getting annoyed, which is what I think is happening. And the whole reason for these wars and these COVIDs is just to annoy people because the, these extraterrestrials are drinking that up like a treat. They love it. They love angst. They love sadness. They love anxiety. And um, they can get away with it, like I said, because we mistreat animals and those who are, we think are lesser than us. So it's a vicious circle. And um, on 22-2-2022, that was like you turned up the volume on that. So I personally was irritated in my private life. I told Bill about it on a private message. And he actually brought up 222 two, two on the last show. And he said, I just know it's true. I don't know it's true. Uh, I don't know for a fact that every single person who thought there was a cosmic significance of the day 2, 22, 22 is also an aromatherapist on their third marriage. Um, something crazy, something about the only people who are discussing 222, two, two, like I have been discussing with him, are those people who are into aromatherapy into their third marriage. So now I've been married twice, first with the percussionist from Miles Davis and Dave Sanborn, and secondly with a man I'm with now since almost 30 years, um, a St. Martiner and mechanic who I love very much. But Bill is talking about third marriage. <laughs> so I wonder who else was talking to him about 222 last week. <laughs> but then he went off on this big long um, if you want to call it a train of thoughts about how he does not want to be married. And honestly, I, but then, okay. But then in his new rules, he went completely off the rails about uh, marriage and, and how he doesn't want to be married because um, she would be so bossy, pushy galore, he called it. New rule, romantic comedies have to stop ordering me around. Why are the titles always direct commands? This month it's marry me. But go back through the years and you'll see we've also had kiss me, kiss me again. Shut up and kiss me, kiss me for Christmas. Meet me at Christmas, marry me at Christmas. Marry me for Christmas, marry me this Christmas. Take me somewhere nice, take me home tonight. Surprise me, remember me, dance with me, stay with me, sleep with me. Talk to me, touch me, and lie to me. Here's my movie, No. I don't, I don't want this to sound harsh, but maybe you wouldn't be single if you weren't so bossy. Makes sense when you put it all together. <laughs> um, but um, I have given up on meeting him personally since, since 10 years after we started these games. 
that's when I said, well, that's enough. that will never happen. And um, when I saw this, uh, this groom guy, um, yeah, Chicago police released body camera footage of man fiddly shot by officer. Um, he was wearing the groom on his t-shirt. And, and that played into a big, long conversation with Angel back then, a couple years back. And I knew from then that Angel and I couldn't be married either. So I don't know where Bill's head is at, but marriage is an official recognition of a union. And uh, we are not, Angel is not officially recognizing me. He's just here with me, showing himself to me and select few who can see what's going on. So this is not a marriage. Um, not that it matters because it's beyond a marriage because he's inside me and if people start to realize how heavy that is to be possessed, they, they will uh, just put down the weapons and, and um, try to understand what's going on inside our minds, like we are not alone. Um, I often hear people about voice in their heads. It, it happens constantly. I'll be absolutely honest with you, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm not only am I not alone, I'm never lonely, I'm always loving, and it's just wonderful in my case. And I think it could be like that for everybody. It just, you, you have to recognize your presence as a sovereign being and that he or she or they is here with you. Not that they take over you completely and make you do and say crazy things. So, the last thing I mentioned and that I'm going to talk about today is the uh, apparatus which I brought up in my letter to Bill. Um, I said, did you get sapped to for 22 to 2022? Could the Biden apparatus be any more obvious than him waltzing into the war room at exactly 222? And then he, he somehow flopped into Fapparatus, which has something to do with um, jacking off the Fapparatus. Neural, yeah, Neural, this new product called the Satisfier Heated Masturbator for Men <laughs> has to look less like a regular household appliance. Uh, make it pink, uh, bedazzle it, something. With, with lots of people still stuck at home, the last thing we need to hear is, Mom, Dad got his dick stuck in Alexa again. I'm so proud of my work. <laughs> <laughs> so he's very much there. And so is Angel. And uh, make of it what you will. But uh, if you go back and look at my work since uh, 2009, uh, it's undeniable. Angel is here. Um, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing.